Okay, so here's how this goes. Uh, you need to know the law of cosines in order to do this problem. So the law of cosines say that if you have a triangle, and you have an angle, and you have a side, and you have two other sides, A and B, then if you take the square of the opposite the angle, that's equal to the square of the other two sides, the sum of those minus two times their product times the cosine of the angle. That's the law of cosines. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to look at this thing and see what they've got. So they gave us a parallelogram. They told us the whole thing was 53 here, which means, and the diagonals also cross. Diagonals cross halfway. So this is half of 53, which is 26.5. And this one crosses here. This one was um, uh, 37, right? Yeah, 37. So this whole, this was 37. So this one here is actually um, half of 37, which is 18.5. And this down here is 24. So now we have this triangle down here, which is 26.5, 18.5, and 24 down here. You see that? And you have this angle here, which we can't call theta now because he's already got a theta there. So this is alpha, which is, by the way, half of the double theta. So we're gonna. all you do is 18.5 squared equals 26.5 squared plus 24 squared minus 2 times 26.5 times 18 times 24 times the cosine of alpha, which is there. And so if you do the calculation, you're going to end up with the cosine of alpha equals to, I'm going to go in fast on this, you can do one, 5, 8, 4, I'll just put the whole thing out, 9, 0, 5, 6, 6. That's the cosine of alpha, which makes alpha approximately equal to 42.62 degrees. Okay, you take the arc cosine of this 0.735 thing, whatever. Okay, that's equal to your alpha. And then um, do it's around 42 degrees. So that's around, so alpha is 42 degrees. So your theta is double that, uh, which is um, 85.24 degrees approximately. So that's the answer for theta. And um, you now you want to find out some other things. You want to find out what um, uh, A is equal to. So you're trying to find A. So this whole thing is 53. This is 42 degrees approximately. This is 24. Use the law of cosines again. And you get 53 squared plus 24 squared minus 2 times 53 times 24 times the cosine of this angle alpha down here. And so um, end up with um, this is actually equal to uh, a squared. So a squared is going to be equal to 15, 13 approximately when you work it out. So A is equal to the square root of 15, 13, which is equal to 38.9. So you got A equal to 38.9. Um, now you got to find theta. Well, theta is equal to 2 times alpha because alpha was just this part here. You see that's alpha there. So 2 times alpha is about 84.24. I said that already. And then you also got to do phi. Well, if you look at this, uh, this, this thing here, you know what this angle is here. This angle up here is the same because there's a transversal through two parallel lines. So phi is equal to 1 minus uh, theta, which then would be equal to uh, 4.76 degrees. And that's the answer. Now, if this is a class, I wouldn't go this fast. But anyway, I just to give you the answer, that's all. Uh, let's see if we can stop this thing.